Hey everybody, and welcome to this week's episode of New Strength Sugar Babes. Um, and on this show, we are all about helping women build a body that they love while freeing them from restrictive dieting and binge eating because no one likes to eat bird food. And the problem that we see in the fitness industry is that everyone markets to you that you need to eat less and do more and kill yourself with cardio. And, you know, you see all these fitness models and Instagram models and Kayla eats scene and, you know, they're all just literally starving themselves. Like I think, oh God, like I see their lunches and I'm, I'm like, how do you even survive on that? But what, what those diets do, I think, is, is trap women um, in this vicious circle and cycle of restrictive dieting and just excessive training. So they never actually get to where they want to be. And then over time, they develop digestive issues and menstrual cycle issues and, you know, sleep issues and all those things. So you never get the body you want and you end up feeling like shit and you have to eat rabbit food. So um, our mission is to free women and teach them about food and training and, you know, how to love their bodies and um, educate them so that they know what foods work best for them. So today I've got my lovely friend, Karen. Um, Karen has been, you've been with us for a while now, hey? 18 months. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. So Karen is a hairdresser, as you can probably tell, because her hair, hair looks awesome. And she also makes these um, cool, sh cool shirts. So like, they've been really popular in our gym, obviously, because they're for women who like to lift heavy and that love to eat real fucking food. So um, what's your website called? What's your page? It's lifthevy.shop. Okay, so if you want a really cool shirt, like she's got like I'll deadlift for food and I'll squat for food and they're actually really nice quality and really awesome cuts. So if you love lifting like us and you love food, get on there and, um, and grab one of her shirts. So um, yeah, Karen's been with us for 18 months now and you know, when she came in, she was you know, probably like I used to be, done all the restrictive diets, you know, training in the gym a lot, doing a lot of cardio, but she just couldn't quite get that toned athletic look that she wanted. Um, and she also yep. suffered from some digestive issues and menstrual cycle issues. And, you know, just I think like most of us, women, just issues around food because you're just restricting yourself all the time and you can't, you go through restriction binge, restriction binge. So maybe if you could just share with the viewers, um, what, what, what were you doing before New Strength and, and how did it actually affect your life? Uh, so I was just, I was looking for answers. Um, yeah. Really, that's what it all came down to. I, I wanted to feel fit and, you know, energetic. I wanted to look better than I felt like I looked at the time. I, I mean, I was little. I've, I've never had a big weight issue, mm. um, but still I had, you know, a goal would, that I wanted to achieve and I was just up to six and seven sessions a week, mixing it up between, you know, pump, um, generally classes. Sometimes I'd do some, some PT um, and I was just, the food really was where it came down to predominantly for me because I, yeah, skin issues, digestive issues um, and I just couldn't find anything that was sustainable. That was mm. the most frustrating part. Um, you know, it always initially feel better. So, uh, like I did low, uh, low to no sugar for two years, and I dairy. was on my soapbox preaching that um, <laughs> little dairy, dairy yeah. because I, you know, I had, I thought I was lactose intolerant, and mm. um, you know, living on nuts and seeds and legumes and um, yeah, res restricting my calories, you know, generally always go swinging between whatever new diet I could give a go, you know, low carb, high fat, um, a soup diet, uh, intermittent fasting, oh, I've meal done replacements. That. Yeah, like, all of it. Oh, oh, you know, but always coming back to just, oh, obviously I just can't have as many calories anymore. So, in like just before I joined you guys, I'd done. A pretty hardcore intermittent fast leading up to my 40th birthday and wanted to be super little and you know feel like I was fantastic and I was just I was wasting away but yeah I'd been basically like under a thousand calories a day for that for that week so can you imagine eating that again? Uh, <laughs> no that's that's what, my first two what are you eating now? what calories yeah. are you eating now what are you up to 24 I think you were telling me that. um yeah we've we've we're experimenting again because I've, yeah. you know, just working it out, going with What's the process perfect? and not yeah. being my stuff as I go. 
we're, we're setting now 21. Yeah. Um, and we'll stay there for a few months and just see yeah. well, for a little while. See how you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've doubled your calorie intake. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, there's definitely, there's definitely days where I need so much more, you know, depending yeah. on what's going on in the gym. Yeah. The yeah. training program. So, yeah, that's fantastic. It's quite and, liberating. Oh, I know. It's just so nice to eat, like, enjoy food again and eat real food. Um, so talk a bit about, yeah. you know, like obviously you've, you've come in, you've started the program, um, you've changed your diet and you've changed your training too. So now you only train three days a week and you've been focusing on getting super strong. So how has that yep. changed? Well, let's talk about your body first. How is that? Because I, I, I know you've said to me, like, now I've finally got that athlete and you look amazing. I always, and you got this great ass and like you look athletic, <laughs> like you look like you lift. So what's the difference between the training that you were doing previously versus what you're doing now? I don't have a love hate relationship with it. I actually just love it. <laughs> um, yeah, I used to dread going, but knowing that I needed to, but also enjoying, okay, that was my time, you know, yeah. work kids and all that. that was, I could go to the gym and just be in my own space for a while. Um, but, you know, what? I, I used to go there and I'd sit in the car park sometimes and i go, do I want to do that class or will I go and do something else that's just not going to be as awful? You know, it was mm. dreadful to, to get there and pun, as punishing. Um, now, I mean, I turn up early and, uh, you know, like earlier really than good. I even need to a lot of the time because, <laughs> you know, it's just this beautiful social component to our gym and, um, yeah, you, you want to be there, you look forward to mm. your next session. Mm. Yeah. And you've got Love the weight training. Love it. You've gotten strong, right? Like you've progressively gotten stronger. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Did, did you ever yeah. think like, I think that's probably a real missing link for most females and I was the same because I always thought that to look toned, I needed to do more. So I needed to just lift weights, but I never actually <laughs> lift weights and progressively got stronger. I didn't, I didn't, like have that connection or that link there um and i thought that i needed to do cardio to get the fat off but all i ended up doing was just running myself into the ground and feeling like crap yeah. whereas now you know like yourself included we've progressively gotten stronger so we squat we bench we deadlift um yeah. and over time yeah. we we gradually add a few more a bit more weight a bit more a bit more reps um and now and we're yeah. increasing our strength which therefore if you can lift like how do you lift more weight well, you need more muscle. So I think that's a big link, missing link for, for women. Um, you know, and they think that yeah. they need to spend hours and hours in the gym. So you've obviously saved yourself heaps of time. And let's talk about the, the nutrition. So what's some improvements you've seen since, you know, changing your diet and eating more and uh, eating well, like sugar said, and dairy? Mm. Yeah, mm. yeah. Well, like I said before, you know, I thought I was lactose intolerant, but um, as soon as I cut out nuts, seeds, and legumes, I no trouble with with dairy products anymore, mm. um, and that was a rapid turnaround. Um, and like you know, I always feel like fruits, dairy, they're just foods that when I consume them, I feel like it, it just feels so right to be eating these things. Like it just mm. feels so natural. Um, uh, definitely, I had improvement in my skin digestion i had mouth ulcers that oh, actually wow. started from from when i started menstruating so 12 13 years old i started getting mouth ulcers um basically every cycle it, it was a rare occasion where i didn't have mouth ulcers and often up to five and six at a time and it was only just a few months ago that um i had one through an injury, you know, just a bit my gum and then I ended up with one again and I was like, oh, I don't have these things anymore. And then I realised that it's because, again, cutting out that, that bird food, mm. that stuff that I was eating so much of, the polyunsaturated fats, that's just been a big eye-opener for me to how, and I'm quite sensitive to them, so I really have to make sure that if I know I'm going to have them, you know, even eating out mm. of the restaurant and if they've cooked the meat in pollies, then I could get a response to that. So, you know, I make sure I'm very extra careful for the days around that. So, mm. Mm. yeah, all improvements, no more bloating and gas and trumpet bum. Mm. Do, you feel, do you feel like it truly really freed you? Absolutely, because yeah. I was constantly 
questioning, okay, if I eat this, what, um, you know, what, how will I exercise to offset that? Or if mm. I have a bigger meal of, you know, if I go over my calories, of, you know, or if I go to 12 or 1300, whoops, um, <laughs> you know, then I'd go and slog myself at the gym. And there's all this constant questioning and um, trying to balance everything out so that I didn't get a weight increase or, you know, um, yeah. So not having that constant dialogue going on in my head Mm. amazing and not yeah just feeling like i've got answers at last yeah i know it's crazy hey it's just it's like it's this journey i think because you start to really get in tune with your body uh and it's quite freeing that you know that you can actually give your body what it needs and you can eat things like ice cream like how good's ice cream do you know lick's got this new flavor fig and honey oh my god it's incredible you tried it oh you should try it it's the best do you like fig yes love figs get it it's amazing i'm like oh this is so amazing um yeah and like do you ever sometimes I, i'll think about like what it used to be like to eat like that and i think do you ever imagine going back to that no 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 absolutely not <laughs> i don't like some sometimes for, just for logistical reasons i'll have to walk from my daughter's school to home and it's about a 30 minute walk yeah and i was looking at houses i did not enjoy it at all <laughs> And yet I would, you know, go and jump on that treadmill and do oh, me too. internet runs and sprints and whatever and, no, I don't miss it. No. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. I take Winston for a walk every day. That's, that's what I do. But, um, yeah, no, nah, it's, yeah, I just, I don't even know how we used to do it. But um, we, you know, obviously we work with, with women and um, some of the, the main objections that we get um, from women, and you're, you're actually a mother yourself, um, is that I think, and I think it's more particularly I find it with with mums more so than women that don't have kids. But it's like they say to me that they don't feel like they're worth investing. It's in, worth investing this in themselves. Um, what would you say to a woman that is thinking that? It's 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 such a natural um, part of being a mum. You you mm. definitely think that you've got to give all of your time and money and focus to the kids. Mm. Um, But if you're in such a state that you, you know, I was so distracted with what I was thinking about food, exercise, that Mm. I wasn't mentally present to give my kids really what they deserved and needed as much as I should. Um, So, you know, I think when, when you're sleeping better and so your mood is better and you're not, um, frustrated with how you're feeling and um, it's that's where the payoff comes and you're going to you're going to give better to your kids and be mm. you'll be a better mum definitely, definitely found that as well and you're setting an example for yeah. your kids um, especially daughters I guess that you know this is a great way to be and, and you end up with such a better appreciation of your body um and a better body image uh, you know that mm. kind of uh so you know that's that's definitely going to set them on the right track it's funny that you say that too because i can remember my mum like she's always doing some sort of diet like she was always trying to like yeah, yeah it's, it's it's interesting it's like i think that too like i feel if i ever have kids i just really want to like especially if I have a girl, like shelter her from that fitness industry and, you yeah. know, teach her about good nutrition and fueling her body and understanding her body and, you know, like just get moving, do something that you love. You know, obviously we love lifting. Um, yeah. You don't need to go and kill yourself on the treadmill to be skinny, like skinny. Mm. Skinny's out anyway. It was so 90s. Um, yeah. <laughs> and the, the other objection that we get is money. So, mm-hmm. you know, um, what would you say to a woman who was – you know, thinking that this is too much money to spend on myself, to invest in myself? I think that you've got to decide that you're worth it, first mm-hmm. and foremost. Um, and that, like like anything good, mm-hmm. you, you've got to make some sacrifices. And um, mm-hmm. if, if that's what's needed, then you can have a look at things and go, oh, maybe mm-hmm. I don't need my nails done or maybe I don't need, you know, new clothes this often or maybe I can shop some, you, you can definitely make adjustments, but um, mm. if that's what is needed. But the other thing is that I eat more food than I used to, mm. but I spend less on food. Yeah. 
I mean, the amount of money I was spending going to, you know, organic places trying to buy loads of nuts and seeds and alternate flowers and mm. sweeteners and things like mm. that. You know, I don't, I don't spend anywhere near as much on food and yet mm. I eat more and enjoy yeah, yeah. it more. Mm. I think too you waste less food. I find because you yep. eat everything that you buy, whereas I used to yep. spoil this dumb shit like that and then I wouldn't eat it and then I'd go and binge eat. And I'd like, yeah, totally. I totally get that. Um, yep. And the last one is time. So we get all of them say, I'm too busy. I'm too busy to do this. Like, would you say, well, obviously, one, you're training less. So it yes. probably gives you time back. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Well, I would have been spending close, you know, eight to ten hours yeah. um, previously. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, like even on a, a week where I only went four times, that would be yeah. five to six hours by the time you've you know, factored everything else in. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, at, at 30 minutes a session, you know, sometimes they're a bit longer, and, but that's okay. You know, yeah, a, a tops of what, two An hours. Hour. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like, well, I even think, because I'll probably train for an hour, three hours, three hours a week of training. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Especially if you yep. like have a bit of a chat. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, definitely building community. Um, we, I think too, you know, um, you've got, you've got to realise that when you look back, what would you regret more? Uh, will you regret mm. not giving it a go, mm. um, not thinking that you had time? And actually, you look back, and I think if you're honest with yourself, you could put, you could turn Netflix off. You could stop scrolling Facebook. Mm you know, and go to bed early, earlier so you can get up earlier and fit it in in the morning. I mean, my mm. daughter wakes up early and she's old enough now that, you know, she can eat a banana and watch yeah. Netflix while I go and do an early morning session and everyone yeah. else is asleep in the house. You find a way, if it's important to you, yeah. you, can make, you can make it fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Um, thank you so much, uh, Karen. And, you know, like we love having you in our community. You always contribute and... You know, you really, you haven't obviously been perfect because no woman is ever perfect. Um, but you've really progressed over time and you've become a really good lifter and, you know, you've really applied the nutrition and made it work for you and found what works and experimented. And I think your mindset's really good about it. You, you sort of like, you're like, oh, let's try this and see what happens. Like, let's just yeah. test and measure and, um, you know, you really take ownership of where you're at and, and, you, and your results. Yeah. Um, and you know, like you have an inspirational body, which I'm sure that every woman in our, in, <laughs> in our gym would love to look like you. So, um, so keep inspiring everyone with your, with your big squats and your big, your, your big yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so thank you. Thank you so much for coming on the show and, um, I will obviously see you cause you do my hair now, but like, I'll see you in the gym as well. Probably too. Awesome. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Have, a, have a, have a great day. You too. Bye. Thank you so much.